Okay, so here is how we're going to set up Microsoft 7. First thing you want to do is make sure that your files are backed up. What I'm using here is a detachable hard drive. And I'm just going to make sure that I have all my files over onto this detachable hard drive. Another place that I can do this is I could put this on the Amazon S3. And so this is another video that we can do together, but um, you can move these over to a secure server site called Amazon S3. and this is the interface that you would use to do that. Uh, for this demonstration though, let's just assume that I do have everything backed up, which I do. So we're going to go ahead and close that out. Now, what I'm using for a partitioning device is um, this EaseUs partitioning. So I've already downloaded that software. It's a free download, and it's it's ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and, and close this out and start my partitioning. Okay, you'll notice that I'm using a 320 gig drive, but I actually moved it down to about 31 gigs on, on this particular partition and I'm going to go ahead and, and create a partition. I'm going to label it Windows 7. And this is going to go ahead and assign the appropriate letters. I do have another hard drive that's attached, so this would be actually letter G. And I'm going to make this about about 35 gigs. So I'm going to hit OK and you'll see here that I have the partition all ready to go and I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. Okay so I did the first partitioning and you'll notice I took off my detachable USB drive just to make sure that there was no confusion as I'm partitioning. And then I'm going to actually create two other partitions here. And so I click on the area I want to partition. Create partition. And this is going to be and I have about 200 and 238 gigs left. So I'm just going to split it down the middle close enough. This is going to be a G drive. Apply. And then finally a fourth partition. and that is going to be all the unallocated space and this will be so this will be an H drive and at any time I can go back in and I can delete these but so now what we have is we have a C drive, an F drive, a G drive and an H drive and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take all of my program files and install them on this 120 gig drive and um, then we'll go ahead and get started with the um, loading of Windows 7. Okay so now the next step is you need to set up a live account. Now I already have one but you'll just want to go to uh, the live login which is 
https colon forward slash forward slash login dot live dot com and that'll bring you to this page now like I said I already have a live account so I won't put you through the pain of watching me set one up but instead of putting in your login information you want to set up and it does need to be a live account in order to get the uh, the key to register so go ahead and fill that out now okay now you want to go to the Windows 7 website Microsoft has set up a, a website totally dedicated to educating people about Windows 7 answers a lot of commonly asked questions what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on get the release candidate download it here and then here you have you can download the 32-bit or the 64-bit I would suggest if you don't know the difference download 32-bit It's going to ask for this is where it's going to ask for your Microsoft ID. I'm going to go ahead and put this in. Now everybody watching this video knows my password. So you go ahead and fill out this information. I won't bore you with this. Uh, as you hit continue, uh, it will begin the download. Okay, so we're at the point where it's giving me the product key. Uh, you can go ahead and write this down, or uh, it will be sent to you in an email. And then just go ahead and click download. And it's going to ask you where you want to store it, and it's an ISO file. So my documents is fine. And it's going to have this dialog box. Now, this is a 2 gigabyte plus file. It's going to take a little while. So go ahead and take a break, grab a glass of water. We'll get you through this okay. And there you go. So that's all downloaded now. And we can exit out of this. And then I'm going to use a program called Ultra ISO. And what Ultra ISO is going to do is um, it's going to burn the bootable disk of Windows 7. And then that will essentially help me to, or allow me to boot into the system. Okay, so that just completed. My uh, DVD drive popped. So I'm going to cancel out of here. And the way I'm going to check it, I'm going to put that DVD back in. And this is kind of what you should see. When that DVD drive goes back in, it should recognize it as a bootable. And that's how you know you did it correctly. And then you'll go through the installation process, which I can show you right now.